Hello and welcome back to Felpo Sunday here on the World War II History and Reenacting YouTube channel. Well, I know it's been a while since the last Felpo Sunday video, but unfortunately I've been having some issues with regards to my editing computer not being up to the task of handling these pretty large file sizes for my new camera. And uh, even though I'm recording at about a tenth of the camera's capabilities, it's proven to be almost impossible to edit on my current computer and I definitely have to get a new computer to keep up with this camera. Well the good news is, in the meantime, I was able to record about 30 episodes of Felpo Sunday, so there is a lot to look forward to. Well that's enough talking, let's see if there's any Felpost. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Hmm, kein Felpost. Well, you know what I always say, the Reichpost always delivers. Let's see if there's anything in the mail sack. Wir haben Feldpost. Cool. Whoa, just what I always wanted. <laughs> Let's take a look. Let's put this one over here in the meantime. All right, need to find my trusty old Puko. So, what do you think it is? This is actually some really, really good packaging. Well, I just have to show you guys. This is a very good example of how to pack something fragile. Can you see what it is? Can you tell? Really good packaging. I'm really happy with that. Woo! Super, super duper. Yeah, all in one piece. Very nice. Let's do the next one. What do you think is in this one? Hmm. This packaging also looks pretty promising. So two coffee mugs in very nice shape. This one is dated 1943. It's a little bit bigger than this one. This one is not dated, but yeah. This is the typical style of mess hall coffee pot used by the German troops during the Second World War. Naturally, with different manufacturers come slightly different designs and features, but the overall look and style remains true. The German mess hall porcelain of this type was the toughest chinaware ever developed for military use. A soldier could drop this service piece from the dining table and chances were that it might actually survive the ordeal. The most thought after item of this nature are the large pieces, such as coffee pots, as the plates and dishes are far more common, but nowadays everything is getting increasingly scarce. This coffee pot was manufactured in 1943 by the company Tilsch Altwasser. The company did take on contracts from both the Reichsherr and later the Wehrmacht, but as you can see, this one does not have a military property stamp. So my guess is that it was probably intended for civilian use, or perhaps a canteen or some other coffee serving establishment. This lip prevents the lid from falling off when pouring, a neat and clever design feature. The second coffee pot was manufactured by the Kronsta Porcelain Factory, and I believe this stamp dated back to the late 1960s, but I'm not sure. 
To my knowledge, the company did not manufacture Chinaware for the Wehrmacht during the war. Similar to the previous coffee pot, the lid can also be secured to prevent it from falling off when pouring. The lid is matched up with the pot in this manner. Then it is twisted to secure it in place. Look how strong this porcelain is. The pot weighs roughly 1.6 kilos. These items were purchased with the intention of using them for reenactment in a barracks setting. These are great for a barracks display or reenactment event. They are not as valuable as the, the Wehrmacht property marked porcelain from the time. These are period correct. They are from the period and they were definitely used by the Wehrmacht. And nothing is better than the real thing. So these are cheap, affordable originals that I will be happy to use at a reenactment event and if they would break well that's a shame but at least it's not a high value collectible all this German porcelain is high quality and you could even throw this off a cliff and it might even survive so yeah it's great for use it's still serviceable usable and a great piece to have in the barracks display so, I really hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, if you liked the video, please comment, uh, rate, and subscribe. I will leave the link to the entire Felpos Sunday playlist down in the video description if you want to see more. And uh, yeah, until next Sunday, Auf Wiedersehen!